Drones sow the seeds for a greener future. Scientists in India plan to turn a difficult-to-reach area near Bangalore into a lush green forest by dropping seeds from drones into the soil. The first drone seed bombing experiment took place on June 5th to mark World Environment Day. Researchers from the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore will drop seed bombs on an arid hill range north of the city. They plan to cover 10,000 acres, an area equivalent to more than 5,500 soccer fields. Seeds from native species, such as tamarind, will be wrapped in balls of manure and soil before being dropped from the sky. Drones equipped with cameras will be used to geotag the area and monitor the progress of the project. Around a dozen native tree species have been chosen for the project, which scientists hope will help a forest flourish and encourage wildlife to return to the area. According to scientists, goats that graze on saplings, the dry climate and climate change are some of the biggest challenges to the project. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Drones can be used in all kinds of really cool ways. Ambulance drones to save heart attack patients within minutes. Dubbing it, quote, ambulance drone, a student at a Dutch university has developed a flying defibrillator that can respond within minutes after a heart attack sets in. The ambulance drone is equipped with a camera and a GPS navigation system. Powered by six propellers, the drone can reach a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour. When someone suffers a heart attack, bystanders can call an emergency hotline and an ambulance drone is next dispatched. Using a camera mounted on the drone, a staffer can then instruct bystanders to attach the defibrillator to the patient. The drone can transport the device to someone in need inside a 12 kilometer zone within one minute, significantly increasing the survival rate of patients. Apart from the defibrillator, the developer hopes that the drone will be able to carry other medical supplies, such as oxygen masks and insulin injections. The developer aims to create an ambulance drone network in the Netherlands within five years. New York Fire Department to deploy drones to fight fires. New York's fire department will soon have new eyes and ears above the city. The NYFD is currently testing drones that will help firefighters get a better look at how to fight fires before sending in humans. The $85,000 drones painted fire engine red weigh roughly eight pounds and can move vertically and swivel 360 degrees. They will be attached to a 200 foot long tether. They can capture both standard video and infrared images, which are then transmitted to a portable command center so firefighters can see what they're up against. It takes two firefighters to operate each drone, a pilot to man the controls and an observer to keep the area clear. The first drone will be deployed in the coming weeks, followed by two more before the end of the year. The drone idea was conceived after a deadly 2014 gas explosion in East Harlem, when an amateur drone operator flew his drone in to help firefighters get pictures of the damaged site. Oxford-based startup to use drones to fight deforestation. Oxford-based startup Biocarbon Engineering is planning to fight industrial deforestation by planting one billion trees a year using drones. The drones used by Biocarbon Engineering would first fly above a selected area, map its level of deforestation, and then report its potential for reforestation. After that, automated planting drones carrying seed pods would fly one to two meters above the ground, following a predetermined planting pattern and fire germinated seeds into the soil. A small pressurized canister would provide the necessary propulsive force for the seed pods to easily penetrate the soil surface. Seed pods filled with nutritious hydrogel to reduce impact forces on the seedlings during planting would then break open upon impact and allow the germinated seeds to grow. One drone can plant 10 seeds per minute. With two operators controlling multiple drones, 36,000 trees could be planted in a single day. The biocarbon engineering system is not as good as hand planting, but it's much quicker and less expensive than traditional planting systems. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Amazon submits patent for drone docking stations. When Amazon announced it would soon deliver Prime packages via drones, it didn't account for long distance travel. But the company has thought of a solution. Docking stations in areas where dedicated facilities are far and few in between. 
Amazon has submitted a patent for using tall structures, like lampposts, as docking and recharging stations for its delivery drones. The patent is for a series of multi-use unmanned aerial vehicle docking stations, which would enable drones to recharge remotely in between deliveries. The company would also be able to provide navigational guidance to lost drones. Lost drones would send error signals to local antennas, which would respond by directing the drone to a nearby station. From there, the drone would receive rerouting information to complete its delivery. The stations could also double as delivery hubs, where drones can drop off packages to be picked up by its receiving Amazon Prime user or another drone for further delivery. Amazon wants to allow drones to perch atop existing tall structures, such as lamp posts, cell towers, power poles, and buildings. The company is looking to develop a system of UAV drones that would deliver packages within 30 minutes or less. The sky's the limit for Amazon's flying warehouses. Amazon has filed a patent for a self-driving airship that can store inventory and be used as a base to launch delivery drones. Amazon's airborne fulfillment centers would hover at an altitude of 45,000 feet and be the focal point of a network of unmanned aerial vehicles. The self-driving airships would carry a cargo of Amazon products and unmanned drones to deliver goods to customers. According to a patent filed by Amazon, the drones would navigate horizontally to their destination and would use little to no power. The airships would be replenished by smaller unmanned service vehicles, which could carry workers, drones, fuel and inventory. One potential use of the airships could be for large events, such as concerts or football games, where they could be used to deliver souvenirs or food. The patent for the Amazon airship was filed in 2014, but only came to light last week. Amazon has successfully tested deliveries by drone in the UK and is waiting for federal approval to roll out the service in the United States. Parcelcopter drone to deliver medicine to German island. German logistics firm DHL has been given permission to use a drone to deliver parcels to Eust Island, the first time an unmanned aircraft has been authorized to deliver goods in Europe. The four-rotor parcel copter will carry medication and other urgently needed objects that weigh up to 1.2 kilograms. It takes up to 30 minutes for the drone to fly to Eust Island, which is 12 kilometers off Germany's northern coast. Because of privacy and safety concerns, the drone will not fly over houses on the island. German authorities have created a restricted flight area that will be used only by the drone. The trial for the drone will begin on Friday and is expected to continue until mid-October.